while Shiver Me Timbers and Color Me Intrigued. Netflix seems to be getting back on their feet. Let's be honest, with a ginormous track record of failed live anime adaptations, I thought I had to walk the plank with this latest iteration of One Piece. With lukewarm to maybe average expectations at best, the first episode took me by surprise, and I actually believe it is great. Delicious. For transparency, let me be clear. I have not watched a single episode of the anime, read a single manga, or played a single game of the franchise. So for the diehards who think that I may be too lenient on this show, know that this is in the perspective of an absolute normie. If you are going to tell me that the anime is exponentially better and I should watch that instead, then I think you should give credit to this live adaptation, because I am genuinely now considering jumping in. Though it may take me two decades to catch up, but that's beside the point. I believe this is mission accomplished for Oda's mission and what he set out to do, and that is to introduce One Piece to a whole new audience. My treasure is yours to find. If the current ratings of Rotten Tomatoes are anything to go by, I like to think that I am not the only one who believes that they succeeded with flying colors, which is a nice surprise considering the notoriously ill reputation of anime live adaptations. What if we can change things? While I have just finished watching the first episode, I did feel the much needed love, care, and passion to introduce the pirate world and its characters. In the beginning, no time was wasted to introduce the premise of the show. I did appreciate how straight to the point the start was, with excellent acting and setting up the events leading the pirates to search for the Pirate King's treasure, the One Piece, in an entertaining manner. The same can be said with the introduction and plot development of the main cast, Luffy, Kobe, Zoro, and Nami. All of them performed their roles admirably and somehow managed to capture, at least partially, the anime feel that I was looking for in a live-action adaptation. That is not to say the antagonists of the episode were terrible. In fact, it is quite the opposite, where each of them had a decent prime time in the screen, and with just as great acting that never felt cringy in comparison to many other shows of late. With an hour-long premiere, I was sincerely worried that this first episode had a high probability of dragging or padding out the length. But I am surprised and glad to say that I am gravely mistaken. In fact, I do not even remember if I checked my phone in the entirety of the run, which is a major compliment coming from me, having the attention span of a 5-year-old. The first episode had me hooked in its entirety, and I am now invested in this world, its characters, and ultimately the franchise that I hope it maintains its consistency throughout the season. If it is not yet obvious, then let me say that I love this introductory episode, and I am now looking into finishing the season. I highly recommend to at least give this live adaptation a chance. Believe me when I say that I was very skeptical that I would like this show. It is quite refreshing and I am glad that I was wrong. You did good here Netflix, you did good. What do you think of One Piece? Is this finally the pioneer of actually good live anime adaptations? Would you compare this to HBO's The Last of Us as the trendsetter for video game live adaptations? They're not gonna hit you. Hey. At least this is much better than the Disney Plus Star Wars garbage, Ass Soka. I'm not here to discuss my past. Would you like me to review the entire season 1 of One Piece? Sound off in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching, consider subscribing, and everything else we always ask you to do, and see you in the next video.